Football is a passion for multitudes around the world and women football is growing exponentially. South Africa is no exception and the country has achieved numerous successes with the women's national team. One of their star players started her playing career with the women's national team in 2000 and retired last year. The former Banyana Banyana midfielder and striker, Poshia Mudise built for herself a career that saw her deliver over 100 goals for the team during her 124 games played for Banyana Banyana. And uh, she is a woman not to be challenged on the field, a role model for the caliber of athletes this country is known to produce. Poshia Mudise joins us this evening to talk about her career and her life story. Poshia, good to catch up with you. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be here in Tate Mudise. And you know, people may not believe that I actually have never interviewed you, and I just want to add a disclaimer, there's nothing there's no nepotism here. No. <laughs> I'm not interviewing you because you happen to be Porsche Mudisa. Yes. Right? You come here because you are a star in your own right, right? Yes. You didn't speak to me anywhere or declare anywhere to say one day I'm going to be a famous top achiever. You did it all by yourself. Yes. And we've got to compliment you and congratulate you for that. Well done. Thank you, thank you. Thank Satisfying you. career for what, 14, 15 years? Until I think I started two, 2000 when we hosted the Africa Cup of Nations yes. in, in Fos uh -huh. Yeah, it, it, it where my career started, you know, uh -huh. Banyana Banyana. Uh -huh. yes. and, but you knew, I, I suspect you knew, because you are a very forceful player anyway, and scoring long-range goals as well. I've seen a few of your goals on television, and at some point people were saying, you know, the way things are going for Bafana Bafana, <laughs> we may as well get Porsche to come and help them because they, have, they don't seem to be going anywhere when it comes to goals. But you knew all along that you were going to become one of the key players of the team. I think uh, I, 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 I knew, but just because of the challenges that you, you normally face, mm. you know, you, you end up not being, being sure if you're going to break that, uh, probably that, that, that mark that you want to break as a, as, a, as, a, as a soccer player. I always wanted to be this special player as a woman footballer. Uh, making that mark that any woman never did or any guy never did. Yes. So I wanted to be that uh, special player. Then I started to put focus on myself. I, I started to to train harder. And I, 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 of course, in my chain, I did have harms, mm. whereby I didn't. I was not called later on in the national team because we had a little bit problems with Kastin uh, Makalakalani. But I didn't lose hope because yeah. I knew what I wanted to achieve. Sure. I knew uh, my, my, my place that I wanted to put in Africa in, in women's football, then for me, scoring 100 goals, I think that, that was the. But I'm, I'm, I'm told you've scored more than 1,000 goals in your football career. Yeah. I um, don't believe it, but you know, I'm sorry, I, because it's you, I can say it to yourself. I don't want to speak about you behind your back, you see. So you have scored 1,000 goals. I accept the fact because you're confirming it. Yes. It's 1,000. I score, I, I've scored a lot of goals besides the national team. One thing people that they don't know, we're not only playing for the national team. Yes. We we have soccer soccer clubs that yeah. we're coming from before the national team. But people they don't know about those clubs because exactly. when they don't see you playing for the national team, they think you don't you, you're not playing football and anymore. And we go with television coverage as well, yes, so because yes. the clubs are playing elsewhere. Yes. So in my club level, I used to score 68 goals before the end of the season. In one game, I'll score 11 or 15 really? goals. Yeah. So yeah. Ah, well, but well done anyway. Yeah, you know, you're in the same league as uh, Pele. Yeah. <laughs> he also has scored around or more than 1,000 goals in his, in his career. Yes. But the love for football, when, when did it start? How did it start? I think it started when I grew up in Soe, Choe, City. Because I, I, I grew up with boys around me, Kaya. Then they used to go and play football. They used to play challenge street football. Mm. Then, because I was always bored, and I, they, they will use to, they will take me when but they go. Spike yeah, too, I don't, yeah, they will, or I don't, or I don't, 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 I end up falling in love with the game, mm. and uh, every time when we come back from their games, they, 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 they will always come back with their soccer ball, mm. then no put on the toes mark. Mm. Uh, well, then I started doing that. Then I started being involved in it. Mm. Then I started also to go out and play with the guys because yes. there were no women playing yeah. football. Yes. Then I played with the guys. I think when I started to play with the guys, it made me stronger more yes. and more. Yeah. yeah, and competitive and yes. all that. And yes. understand or the commuting 
Exactly. So, but, but I enjoyed I enjoyed it that because when I look back, I think it what made me stronger. In the good thing, realize which I could go further. Yeah, and yeah. and you know, I must credit you and other players that you made people who were not aware that there's women's football in in the country to pay attention. <laughs> And also winning things along the way, tournaments and winning games again. You know, in time, you, you, you generated a new market of viewers, especially for the television channels. You know, now we know there's Banyana Banyana, now we know there are star players, and now we know Poshia Mudise. Yes. And of course, if you, if you don't score, we feel sore. Yes, but I think, I think we need more. You know, I think we need more coverage of that because. It's only a few players that are known, and yes. it's a lot of us that we've been presenting the country. And some of them, when they stop playing on, or they don't call them in the national team, they end up not doing anything. It's not only me, it's, yes. it's many of us. But, but you know, the, 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 there's this thing of the support that women's sports gets in our country. I think it's not enough. I'm sure you'll agree with that. Not only in terms of football, but generally. Yes. There are other sports that women participate in, whether it be netball, basketball, you name it. They don't really enjoy that much support. Of course, we, we don't enjoy it because we, we we, we, we've been not promoted that well and because our games are not on TV all the time mm. and they'll, they'll always tell us that we, there's no sponsors for us because people, they don't want to put money in women's football because uh, companies, they have issues about women's football. So, yeah, it's always been difficult because you end up stopping playing because you end up, you will want to have a life after football. You know, and, and, and I think sports, including football, good means of developing any person's character, particularly the talented young people, women, men, you know, why should women be excluded from developing their talents? Yes, I, I, I think, you know, from where I come from, when I look around me, I, I see young women who, who wants to involve themselves in women's football, but there is no channels for them. And, and, they, and, and some look up to you yes. anyway. And, 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 and what are you knock, going to do about they, it? They, they, they knock on my door every day. They mm -hmm. want me to create something for yes, them. Yes. But you know, without a support and without people putting money on it, I, I can't do anything. But what kind of support do you need? I, I need I need support. Like I said, I'm 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 in I'm starting to 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 create my own academy. Yeah. Probably I'll need sponsors to 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 put money, you know, for me to make my academy to be successful. Um, I'm, I was looking for a, a land so I could create uh, to to build my own academy to in to to a school. Yeah. So I already find the school that uh, it agrees with me to to build that friendship with and, them. And this is in Soweto. No? Yes, it's in Soweto. Yeah. Then after that, of course, we'll need business people to put money in order for, for the academy to run, in yeah, order to create give, other... Give uh, technical support, yes. gear, equipment, all of yes. those things. Yes. Now, you have got first-hand experience of what we spoke about in terms of support for women uh, athletes like, like yourself. And uh, recently there was the controversy with Safa. I hope that is being resolved now. How far down the line are you? I mean, you, what, the title was Golden Boot of yes. the Year Award, right? And, uh, and, and then, of course, you spoke about it. It must have generated some controversy for you. But are you solv solving it now? Yeah, I think we, we, I mean, we win, we're in the process to, to solve it. We're still trying to find people we can communicate with in, in, Safa, in the Safa House. Uh, hopefully, they will respond and come back to us because we've been trying and there's no response. Um, and... It, it's it's sad, you know, when you when you walk in the street, people look at you and they they see this hero, someone yeah. that did something, even guys they never did, and they salute you, and at the same time they look at you, they think you you not disciplined mm. uh, about your life, cause there's a lot of things that are not going right, cause they think you you eating he, money so roughly. You didn't look after yourself. You didn't and, look after yeah. yourself while while less they was really nothing you mm. were given. Yes. And it's sad because you always have to explain that yeah. to people. And people, they don't understand that. So sometimes I always say it's sad when you, you don't know how to say how you feel because you're scared of consequences. Yeah, but, you know, and that's the point earlier when I was talking about the kind of support yeah. that women athletes are given, that somehow if we really believe in building 
non-sexist, non-racist, democratic South Africa. We must walk the talk, generally, not only in, the, in your case, but yes. overall in terms of support for athletes. Because what are we going to do with talented young South Africans who happen to be women? What are we going to do? Yeah, because it, it, it's what we ask ourselves as ex-players that um, what is going to happen with women's football because from where we, we're standing, we don't see women's football growing. Instead, we're seeing women's football going forward. We don't have a, a, a development for women's yeah. football. We, we, we can't... But you know what? We, obviously, at least you've got a vision. We're not going to lose your yes. talent with your academy. We yes. hope you get started. I don't know how soon you're going to... I'm, I'm pushing it. It will be very soon I'm pushing yeah, it. Yeah, because we'll also make, what is the word? Make some noise to make sure that this story gets heard and then those with support come to the party and support. That will be great because we need so much support. And, and I would like us to, to make sure the dream comes alive, to come and cover when you launch your that academy. That will be nice because it, it, it's something that it will be in Soweto. And yeah. Yeah, we... And, that's it. You know, we can't talk about things that must be done. Yes. They have to be done. Yes. But anyway, you remain the hero. You've been recognized as such, and we celebrate your contribution to the building of our nation. And, and, and thank you so much to pay attention to women, you know, because we also need that support, because we're also doing well for our country. Of course. And we we, we of need course. to be recognized. And we still pride yes, in yes. us, and we're very proud yes. of your achievements. Posha yes. Mudise, thank you very much. Thank you. And as you heard, she is going to launch an academy in Soweto very soon, but of course, the same old issue of lack of support rearing its head. So we're appealing to all those of you with the means to assist women football and promote women's sports, that all of us must stand behind our heroes and heroines. From us, good night to you.